Hey, how you doing? Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to find profitable niche keywords. Okay, this is actually part two of the video series. Yesterday, I released number one, showing you how to do it for free on YouTube itself. All right, now I'm going to show you in this video a free keyword tool that you can use uh, in combination with TubeBuddy, which I spoke about briefly yesterday, and I will give you the link to to the uh, the review of TubeBuddy below, so that you can really combine the two and figure out how you can actually find profitable niche keywords that you can go after all right so look I hope you enjoyed this video if you do go ahead and subscribe and comment on this channel and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you at the door at the end of the month for free training for free coaching and probably even some free cash I might throw in as well depending on how many people get in on this now the keyword tool that I'm talking about is keyword tool dot I O. Now this tool once upon a time was 100% free. All of this information was was available at the click of a button. You could dive in a little bit more, which I'll talk about shortly. But here's the problem. They did not figure out how to monetize this tool. So it was it was basically like they were giving out a ton of valuable information, but could not figure out a way to make it um, make it profitable. Now, for anybody who's out there who's wondering, well, you know, like at the end of the day, if it's a free tool, like they'll, they'll figure out a way to monetize it. Not necessarily. This is the difference between marketing and, uh, uh, I'm sorry, having a, uh, a useful and valuable tool and being a marketer, okay? Which is why I focus so much on doing that kind of thing. Now, this tool has been taken over by Neil Patel and straight away he was able to monetize it. And I have no doubt that, these hit, that he's turned this immediately into a six-figure business, probably even a seven-figure business with the amount of following that he has. Neil Patel is a huge content Content based marketer who has done SEO and keywords and so on and so forth for a long, long time now. Now he's taken over this tool and he started to monetize. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about right here. Um, so the keyword tool pro. Here you go. This is the this is the stuff you that you that you actually get. It really dives down quite deep, um, and it links up with some very very powerful things. And here's here's the monetization right here. Forty eight dollars for the light version, and and the only thing extra you get um, from from uh, from the the free version is two times more keyword tools. See, use it to get additional keywords that are not available in the free version. Now and then it goes all the way up to Pro, which is eighty eight dollars a month, and it gives you everything: cost per click, data, search volume, AdWords competition data, uh, two times keywords. Competitor keyword analysis, bulk search volume analysis as well. Okay, so man, he's he's able to turn this into a six-figure, multiple six-figure business. I guarantee, at the very least, he's turned this probably into two, three, four hundred k, maybe even a million-dollar business. So something for everybody to aspire to. All right, when you find your space in the market, when you really uh, set yourself up as a as an as an authority, right? Whether it's in affiliate marketing, niche marketing, content marketing, you know, in this particular case, uh, Neil Patel is known as an SEO. Pro, um, he has now been able to acquire a tool that could couldn't that could barely survive, and now he's turned it into an actual uh, uh, continuity business. All right, so very very powerful stuff. And uh, so, anyways, let's get into how to use this tool to find profitable niche keywords. So we are going to ride on the coattails of what we spoke about yesterday. At the end of the day, the number one premise is finding keywords that people are looking for. If you think about it, if people are looking for things, then there's got to be a way to make that profitable. How do you go about making that profitable is the way that you choose to look at things. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, yeah, that, that gets a lot of volume, but there's no way I could turn that into a business. Bullshit, okay? Nowadays, with the ability to sign up to Amazon, who has tens of thousands, probably even hundreds of thousands of products, and your ability to f sign up to free affiliate networks that you can actually use to capitalize on a market for anyone who is searching for anything, okay? Now, are there, are there some niches that are bigger than others? Yes, of course. Like, for example, you know, underwater basket weaving. I mean, that that's probably not a very profitable niche. I would say, I, I'd, sorry, I don't even know where the hell that came from. I don't even know what that actually is. But here's the thing. Whereas if you go into like breakup or getting back your ex or romance or, you know, repairing a broken marriage, though that's a very big niche, okay? But it's, it's something that you can go after and you can find the products to resolve the people's problems and questions that they have with those particular things, okay? So at the end of the day, the premise is this. Find stuff that people are looking for and create valuable content around it, right? That's basically what it comes down to. Now, you're probably saying, well, if I give the content away, then aren't they necessarily, they're not necessarily going to sign up because they're, they're, they've already found the answer that they're looking for. The people who are not truly seeking a solution, 
those people will never do business with you okay so the information that you give them will always be quote unquote enough right but the people who are wanting to really resolve something who really want to actually do something people who want to uh, uh, to resolve the problem that they're facing at that very particular moment in time those people right are the people that you are going to do business with and those are the people that you're going to be looking for when it comes to the content that you provide now you can't tell me for example that you're not going to subscribe to this video I'm literally teaching you how to find profitable niche keywords 100% free right this alone <laughs> this little uh, video series that I put together, this alone could be like easily like a $7 ebook or a $27 video course, okay? But I'm here giving it 100% free because I believe in building my fan base. I believe in building my audience through YouTube, which is going to allow me to be able to monetize later in the future in some way, shape or form. I.e. this keyword tool right here that Neil Patel has done, where he's taken something that was free and a struggling business to the point where they actually shut down. Um, I know because I used to use this keyword tool before and then it disappeared. And now he's turned it into a multiple six figure business, probably a seven figure business. Okay. Now, how do we actually go about using this keyword tool now that I've described to you the premise and I've given you the mindset of how to go about doing this and the actual marketing space itself, which is content based marketing, giving people valuable information. It is very, very simple. Now we're going to do basically what we did yesterday with our, with our, um, uh, YouTube method and basically type in uh, some sort of a market that we're in. Okay, so let's just type in affiliate marketing because that's what we did yesterday and click enter. Okay, now we're just going to go over this basically first before we go into it further. See all of these keywords. I mean, damn, like there is so much information here. There's even a page two. So these are all the keyword. These are a lot of keyword tools that are being searched for. Um, in uh, affiliate, uh, sorry, in in Google itself, in the United States, there are 353 keywords, right? And I've just so you've I've literally just given you 353 topics that you can now utilize to create content around, create a piece of content for each keyword. I've just given you a year's worth of content if you're to create one piece of content every single day. All right. Now, if you want to dive into it a little bit further, because frankly, there are some um, there are some videos that you may or may not be able to um, create, like uh, affiliate marketing champ. Okay, that's an actual brand. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend that you that you go about targeting that particular keyword. But or what you could do is check out what the champ is all about and create affiliate marketing champ review. So you're still utilizing that particular keyword, right? And you're still capitalizing on the fact that people search for it, but you don't necessarily need to go after it directly, okay? Um, affiliate marketing automation, affiliate marketing, um, the affiliate marketing rule covers. Um, that sounds more like a book, if you ask me. Um, let's just let's just have a quick look because I am curious. Um, affiliate marketing rule, federal trade uh, rule alert compliance. Uh, okay, so these are all the, the rules as they apply to like um, FTC and stuff like that. Um, so that's cool. I can understand why people are searching for that kind of thing. But honestly, if you were to do your homework, if you're basically not to bullshit people but tell them the truth, you wouldn't necessarily have to worry about that. But that's a that's a video that you could make, or that's an article that you could write for your blog, or that's something that you could kind of touch upon in your Facebook or Instagram feed. Like if you cover one rule per post, you know, you could probably. I'm guessing. FTC has probably got 20, 30, 40 plus rules. And if you were to just touch upon one, all of a sudden you build an authority, like people would automatically assume like, holy shit, this person really knows what they're talking about when it comes to affiliate marketing. Like, so when they're like, okay, I need to make a little bit more money because I'm not making that much money at my job. I hate my job. I hate my boss. You know, I hate traveling to my job. I hate traveling back in peak hour to my job. Um, I hate being away from my kids. You know, these are all things that are based around affiliate marketing that you can take advantage of. Okay. And you can basically use this sort of stuff to create content to align yourself as an affiliate marketing expert. Now, how does it apply to other markets? Okay, so let's just go into health and fitness. I think we spoke about six pack abs yesterday, if I remember correctly. So remember these 353 keywords. Let's see what we find today. 416 unique keywords with one search just in the United States alone, okay? And look, you could actually search in Amazon what, what the top keywords are. You search in eBay, you can search in app stores. This allows you to really dive into uh, to find keywords that people are actually searching for. Now, the paid versions, like I said, if, if you're to get two times more keywords instead, so for example, instead of getting 416, you'd get what, 832 off the top of my head? Sorry if that math is wrong. I'm not very good at math. Um, there's a reason why I have this calculator available at like the click of a button because my numbers suck. So, but what this allows you to do is find topics that people are actually searching for. If people are actually searching for things, 
bang you're halfway through to finding profitable niche keywords okay because if people are searching for it then they must be looking for solutions if they're looking for solutions then you can either provide the information that's going to help them get to that solution or provide the solution itself so for example look six pack abs diet if that's not a product waiting to sell I don't know what is six pack abs workout plan another product six pack abs in 30 days another product okay so you've got three products right there you could easily create content around and then promote it to some through some sort of affiliate marketing business whether you you know you find it through Amazon with physical products or you find it through Clickbank with uh, with digital products okay you can find a solution you can provide information based around these topics and then link to people to go ahead and find so bang there you go profitable profitable niche keywords now you can go into all different kinds of countries if you're really gonna go like micro niche like for example if you if you want to look for um, dogs uh, <laughs> I, sorry guys I, I don't know where the hell this came from but it's just the first thing that came to my head um, so you want to look for angry dogs in the Bahamas and you, you know you want to you want to kind of figure out keywords based around that now you're probably not going to find a lot but holy crap look see you're even going to find 213 unique keywords for angry dogs in the Bahamas so these are keywords 213 keywords that people are searching for in the Bahamas and you could create content around this now I'm not recommending that you do that obviously this is so obscure you probably wouldn't be able to make any money and it's not necessarily something that you'd want to promote or be associated with either but this is how powerful this particular tool is what I like to do because I'm so focused on YouTube is I like to click on YouTube and then I like to okay so just get out of that I, I like to go into YouTube and I like I like to um, Hang on. And I like to figure out, like, go into my particular market. So I, I've typed in affiliate marketing and come up with a bunch of uh, tools. So look, niche keywords. Th this is this is a very odd uh, a keyword. It's not a lot of people looking for it. This is, so there's only four unique ones. Okay. Now again, if you if you decide to buy the the pro tool, that's cool. It gives you the competition, the cost per click, which means if you if you go into affiliate marketing, this, this could be really important if you're going through the paid route as opposed to the free route. Okay. If you go on the free route, obviously this isn't important at all. But cost per click could be important if you're going through free because the higher the cost per click the more people that are searching for it all right so in other words like if you think about the mindset behind it basically if people are searching if, if, if people are willing to pay higher for an ad it's because they're making more money for an ad right so if people are making more money for an ad it means that there's more people searching for it or willing to uh, the amount of money that they're willing to spend for that particular tool which gives you an insight without even you know having to look for an insight so let's if we just go into like keywords for example and see if that brings up a little bit little bit more information I forgot that we're in the Bahamas that might be part of the reason why um, and searching and just keep in mind as well there's all different kinds of languages like I said you, you can dive into this as much as you want so here we go so keywords if I really wanted to dive into keywords I could go uh, I could create videos around this keywords for keywords for YouTube is one I do keywords SEO uh, keywords for YouTube channel, keywords, AdWords, um, keywords planner, keywords research. Like seriously, like I've just picked out seven pieces of content right there without even trying. Okay, so I'm going to now dive into uh, let's let's dive into YouTube, and I'm going to show you how you can actually get some of this information much much cheaper than having to pay for Neil Patel's forty eight dollars, eighty eight dollars, and so on and so forth. Okay, I've already given you the insight on the um, uh, what's it called on the you know the, the the more that they pay for ads it means the more money there is to be made okay so what we're going to dive into is is more like competition based okay so let's just go into keywords because that's what we were searching for before and bang there's Neil Patel himself right there okay so no doubt he's look at this how to find the right keywords to rank number one on Google powerful keyword research tools for SEO I have no doubt that he's talking about his particular keyword tool in this video right and he's and he's directing a lot of people there. look 18,000 views in just one month so and it's only a five minute video so he's raking it this guy really knows what he's doing if, if you're gonna follow anyone in terms of like if you prefer to read um, his videos are not very good I'll be honest neither is his podcast but if you're gonna uh, if you've got time to read his you know 5,000 word blog post this guy really goes into a lot of stuff that could teach you like it doesn't matter if unless you're like an advanced marketer this guy will teach you a lot of information okay so keywords as you can see and here's here's the information right here on TubeBuddy okay and again TubeBuddy is available uh, below for $19 per month keep in mind that Neil Patel's was uh, was what uh, it was $48 the entry and it was $88 the high end so 
this here gives you the, the search volume, which is one of the things they blocked out. It also gives you the competition, which is really, really high. Um, the search volume is, is pretty high as well. And the overall ranking is nine out of 10. Now, depending on what strategy you're choosing to use, you may or may not uh, decide to, to go after the term keywords, right? Uh, because it's so difficult to rank for. But if you're going after for suggested videos, this could be something really good to go after because there is so much volume. I mean, look at this. Keyword research, 42,000 views a year ago. Uh, Neil Patel, again, 18,000 views one month ago. Uh, how to do powerful keyword research in only 10 minutes. This is three years ago and it was 125,000 views. A lot of money to be made, okay? Don't be scared by competition, guys. Let me tell you this much because a lot of the information that out there is crap. Oops, hang on. I clicked on an ad and I didn't mean to. A lot of the competition that's out there is rubbish, okay? They either don't know what they're doing or... Uh, they're, they're, they're just kind of putting content out there, but don't really have a clue. Don't be afraid by it. Learn what you got to learn and then go into it yourself. Okay. So <clears throat> look at this here. There is a lot of money to be made because there is so much competition. There is so much search volume. It means that there is a lot of money to be made. All right. And the way you figure this out is you figure it out using, again, you combine TubeBuddy. Okay. With the keyword tool, <clears throat> you go through, you find all of the suggestions that they have. And then in finding the suggestions, you just come and punch it in here. So yes, it's a little bit longer than keywordtool.io. But I mean, frankly, if, if even if you're creating one piece of content per day, that's only one keyword. You type it in here, it takes what, three seconds to save yourself to pay $19 as opposed to $88 is a huge difference. Okay. Now I'm not saying that it, that TubeBuddy is a better tool than keywordtool.io from Neil Patel. No, they are two separate tools, but I'm, I'm showing you how to do it through YouTube and, and a way that you can actually like really kind of really carve things out through YouTube so that you can find profitable niche keywords. All right. So look, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoy bringing it to you. I'm looking forward to bringing you, in my opinion, the best method for doing this tomorrow. Okay. I already touched upon it in yesterday's video and today's video, but tomorrow we're going to dive into it a lot deeper in how to find profitable niche keywords. All right. Part three, take care. Much love. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and comment below this video, because I'm going to put you into the end of the month, uh, draw where you're going to get coaching cash and courses. Okay. That's pretty cool. Coaching cash and courses. It's three C word. I might actually use that moving forward. And look, if you've got any questions whatsoever, go ahead and comment below this video. I'll get at you personally, uh, or if if you prefer a private conversation, just go ahead and send me a message or sign up to my email list and email me privately there. All right. So take care, much love, and I will see you in the next.